In honor of Women's History Month, we are celebrating Texas women who went against the status quo and made history. Right now on KSAT.com, we have a list of 13 of these amazing women. Digital journalist Rebecca Salinas joins us now here in the studio to discuss what she learned putting this story together. Rebecca, thanks for being with us this morning. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm you're, so excited to be here. <laughs> you're online all the time now. We've got you on air more, which is awesome. What are some of the things that these women are recognized for? You know, we celebrate a lot of these women every day. We should, you know, celebrate them more often. Um, you know, we're recognizing people in politics, business, everyday life, sports. Um, we include, um, you know, the first female governor of Texas, Miriam Mott Ferguson, of course, the second female governor of Texas, um, Ann Richards, you know, the woman that we should be celebrating every day. Um, we talk about people like Barbara Jordan, who was the first African-American from a southern state to, you know, serve in U.S. Congress. We talk about um, Emma Tenayuka, who in 1938 famously help these pecan shellers who, you know, they were, their wages were cut, they needed help. She helped them, you know, get a minimum wage. And then of course, in then we celebrate people like Mary Kay Ash, who, you know, started this business, her cosmetics empire from just $5,000. So, you know, we just celebrated women from all walks of life. You know, and, and speaking of all the, the women you've covered uh, now, while some of these made, women made history decades ago, some made history more recently. Tell us about that. Yeah, so, um, you know, it's the 21st century and women are still breaking barriers. I wanted to include Becky Hammond. She, I call her a, <laughs> an honorary Texan because, you know, we see her in games, um, interviews, post-game, you know, pre-game. And she's someone who children of all ages all gender, you know, all identities, they can really look up to her today and, you know, see how she's changed the game for women in the NBA. And of course, we, we um, included Selena because, um, you know, after all these years, she is going to be recognized as a fierce Latina from Texas with her music, her fashion. So, you know, her legacy won't fade anytime soon. Rebecca, was there a story that surprised you the most in, in covering all these remarkable women? You know, they're incredible, all of them. <laughs> but um, someone who I really was, uh, their story really surprised me was um, Miriam Babe uh, Saharias. She was a fantastic athlete in all, you know, in all sports, but she had to, um, face, you know, sexism, criticism from male athletes. And um, she eventually uh, co-founded the LPGA. She also won two gold medals in track and field for at the um, 1932 Olympics, I believe. And what really surprised me, you know, about her, her resiliency, she, in the later part of her life, she was diagnosed with cancer. She actually had to go to sur do surgery for that cancer. Three months after that surgery, she was back playing golf in, you know, in these tournaments. After that, she started winning these tournaments. So, you know, you see that and it's like, wow, the dedication for her. And then um, another woman who really impressed me uh, was Bessie Coleman. She is the first African-American and Native American, excuse me, first African-American woman and Native American woman to earn a pilot's license. She actually had to go to school in France because pilot schools in the US would not accept her because she was a woman of color. Oh, wow. So she learned that French language and she went to school over there and, wow. you know, she really, she was dedicated, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, all of these women in have some things in common, some traits. I mean, talk about, uh, you know, the, a fierce sense of uh, I'm doing this and, and re very resilient. Where yeah. we can hear more about your stories? Um, well, KSAT.com has everything that you want to know about um, Women's History Month. Uh, the easiest way to get there is KSAT.com slash women. There we're covering, you know, all the things to know for Women's History Month. Very cool. And I like the way you made uh, Becky Hammond an honorary Texan. Yeah. <laughs> yes. she's, a, she's a San Antonio icon by now. Yeah, we yeah. agree. We agree. Well, you may have seen Rebecca's name on our website, but now you're starting to get to see her face as well. Rebecca, thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks for coming thank in you. to the 9 o'clock show. Right.